NFL announced the compensatory draft picks yesterday. That's driven by free agent net losses versus net gains or net net gains or whatever. They know who we mean. The Rams and the 49ers got five each. Chargers with four. Cardinals, Ravens, Lions with three. You don't see the Patriots on there. You used to see the Patriots, right? but what happened in 2021? Yeah. They went on a free agent spending spree, so you don't get compensatory picks if you sign more than you lose you don't get anything you know people just assume well if we lose a third round pick, nobody understands the formula but the bottom line is if you sign more than you lose you don't get compensatory draft picks right. the next year you have to have more guys leave than you have come in through the unrestricted free agent process chris yeah well the, the patriots had to kind of you know replenish their football team their roster yeah for years they were the team that dominated compensatory picks we saw the ravens do that a while compensatory picks are you know a little bit i look at it to go it's like a good look at the overall health of an organization and oh shocker the 49ers and rams are doing well in that comp in, in that you know conversation i'm really surprised wow the team that the two teams that you know have built uh two teams that have incredible talent have you know incredible infrastructure in front office and the coaching staff where everybody in football wants these guys uh, there it's not a mistake that these two teams are up there in this this conversation uh, they're, they're two of the premier franchises and I think two of the premier coaches in the league right now and you know I think that kind of speaks to that a little bit and remember it's not just free agency losses versus gains it's also compensatory picks arising from having Minority right. executives who become general right. managers elsewhere, minority assistant coaches who become head coaches. The Rams got a third rounder from the Brad Holmes, Brad Holmes hire from right. last year. You get two third rounders. The Rams get their second third rounder via that transaction. The 49ers got two third round picks due to a pair of minority hires that happened last year. Robert Sala became the head coach of the Jets. Martin Mayhew became the GM of the Washington Commanders. So two extra third round game picks changer. for the 49ers because of that. That's that's the incentive to develop minority candidates who become people of high position elsewhere. When this first started two years ago, remember they were going to give the compensatory picks to the teams that make the hire, but they was like, wait a minute, wait, no, no, no. You want to make the hire for the right reasons. What you want to incentivize is development, and that's – why those picks are being made available to teams like the Rams yeah. and 49ers. Chris. Yeah, incredible cultures there, both of them. I mean, they really are. I mean, you, you can notice it when you go, when you go in the building, definitely. I mean, really, and, and uh, yeah, it's, um, uh, it's a game changer for both of these teams. And we know our lack of picks. The 49ers, it makes you think differently of them. Oh, no first-round pick. Oh, but wait, they got three picks in the second and third round now uh, to where that gives them wiggle room to make a play, do something. Same with the Rams there. So that's where it's uh, a big deal about this news yesterday. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.